this fighter has read the Marquess of Queensbury rules cover to cover. Truly one of the best boxers we have in the UFC today, and he works everything off of that jab. Oh, yeah, the jab is what got him to the show. He is just a phenomenal boxer, and John, I love you throwing out the Queensbury uh -huh. rules in the walkout for this man because he signifies everything that is boxing. He's a guy that loves the sport. He wanted to take boxing on his back and bring it to mixed martial arts and show that it, it is as an effective form of combat as anything else. He said, I'll walk away from an Olympic opportunity to take my sport into the octagon and show that we are the best fighters in the world. And he's done that to this point in the UFC. can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, champ. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem at Jafar right. to stay undefeated. Right. If you could do that, you could do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. So more than 15 years, the gap in age between these two fighters with some differences in height and a similar reach. All right, now for the official introductions, we send it inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, Dana Fly. And now introducing his opponent, fighting at the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce. The Dragon Lee! Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time. We'll be my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your When you're a striker at this guy's level, that will normally balance out whatever advantage the other guy has. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. Right on the button. They're certainly getting after it early. Checks the leg kick. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Nice kick. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Well, that one should leave a mark. Outstanding leg kick employed there by Lee. Hey, 
Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Under three minutes now to go on the round. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Oh, man, this ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Oh, nice job to reverse position on the ground. It was bad, but now it's not so bad. What a fantastic sweep. He's working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop this. He better start to move. And when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. And just misses with that big right hand. Pinpoint knee to the body. If you're trying to knock me out, use one knee to the body. Every time his opponent tries to get close, he just drives that knee to the body. Great time. Oh, and that kick is blocked. All right, well, his kicking game was outstanding in that round. We'll see if his opponent can make the adjustments, but take us through the replays before we get there. It's always weird to watch a young fighter start to come into his own. Early in his career, he did not have this ability. He did not have the ability to dictate and control fights with his legs. Now he does, and he looks like a future champion in the making. that straight punch, that'll get his attention. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Big kick. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here, another strike lands there. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? UFC President Dana White's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Just over three minutes now to go in round two. Oh, seamless transition to half guard there. Unbelievable how quickly he was able to slice that leg through to get to the half guard. Well, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by UFC President Dana White. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. And he's back to his feet, good sign for him there. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round, no denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. How good is that right hand? That was a thudding leg kick. Over and over, he landed a big body kick. Lee gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. And he landed the right hand there. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Oh, 
just out of range with that right hand. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attack. Massive head kick! Fifteen seconds to go. Unable to connect with the right hand there. UFC President Dana White gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. All right, a lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a Telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my Telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked about his powerful kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good start for him tonight. That was so impressive to see. Someone fight almost predominantly with their legs and have that level of success. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Huge Superman punch. There's no give on that leg kick. Lee's kick is blocked. Oh, loaded up on that uppercut, but it's no good. Beautiful straight punch there by Lee. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Lower jaw is extremely swollen now. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Real quick leg kick. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Right hand on point. Big kick lands. That right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes him stop throwing. Oh, man, don't be afraid to raise the guard as another head kick lands. One more here, DC, and we could be having a referee coming in there. Waving it off. It could be over in an instant if you do not block head kicks. What a phenomenal job by the offensive fighter setting it up and you're throwing that head kick over the top. Nice job setting it up. Good job landing. Great offense. Both fighters throwing heat now. Oh, an educated jab there. I could watch this dude jab all day. I mean, he's so light on his feet, and when he pops that jab, it's from right back to his face. Ooh, he landed a huge hook there. Nice punch, Lance. It's such a fast leg kick. Caught that kick there. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. All right, a lot of high-level highlights from that last round, DC. Take us through the replay. If he fought like this, I would be comfortable entering him into a K-1 level right. kickboxing competition. He's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will. He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on. Calm down. We knew it was going to be a bloody fight. We knew this, okay? All right, so next round underway here, and you got to admire the stamina that both of these guys still exuded towards the end of that round. Both men put a particular focus on their cardiovascular commitment in this training camp, and it's clearly paid dividends here tonight. We have two legitimately fresh fighters here as we hit this next round. What a punch. Ooh, 
lands flush with that right hand. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes up. All right, working inside his opponent's guard here. You cannot sit in these jiu-jitsu guys' guard. And you can't have one arm in, one arm out. Guys will start throwing up legs, chasing triangles. Well, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here from Bob. Flush right hand is true. A good right hand right there. He's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. We march on three minutes to go. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. I mean, how many can he take? Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop the fight. got to defend. But you can see him now start to gain posture in the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes. is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity pat. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. Good stick. Under a minute now to go in the round. And he continues to work the body here. Oh! Just out of range with that left hook. Superman punches Drew. Nice kick there by UFC President Dana White. Final seconds of round four. 20 minutes down, potentially five to go. All right, there's the horn, and what a round it was. DC take us through the replays. Punch after punch. He landed him at will. He went right at his opponent, got in his face, and showed this is my octagon. We are going to dance to the beat of my two. This is it, man. You got to trust your boxing. I don't want to see any one twos. I want to see three and four punch combinations. You hear me? Get them against the cage. All right, DC, here we go with our next round. It wasn't just the accuracy, it was the aggressiveness, the volume. It was unbelievable to watch him be so active. The cardio, the push, the pace, and the pressure that he fought with, it's going to be very interesting to see if he can maintain this over the defense. He loaded up on that right hand, too. He gets hit with a kick here. That one landed flush. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. Spinning back fist. Let me show you the head strikes. And there comes the separation now. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Lee. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. Just misses there with the left. Oh, that's a good right hand. Oh, combination lands. You want to talk about putting strikes together. Beautiful execution. There. And every one of them are landing. He's overwhelming him with different attacks. Look at the turtle in that kick. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Wow. 
big leg kick land. Lee's kick attempt, that one was blocked. Nice job of hiding that head kick. Unable to connect there. Look at him drive his shins into his opponent's body with that body kick. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Big kick land. Oh, and he tags him with the straight, beautifully placed there by Lee. Shot is blocked there by UFC President Dana White. 30 seconds now to go in the round. Oh, man, his leg kick. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. What a fight. All right, let's look back at some of the action, DC. They go the distance tonight, but you gotta think he won over the judges with his striking acumen tonight. Yeah, you got to watch one of the best strikers in the entire UFC. He did everything so well, and in my opinion, he should cruise to a very easy decision. Like the official decision is in. Yes, here's Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest. 49-46. The winner by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon Lee.